Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would just kind of touch base with you a little bit and because I'm here filling orders for the holidays. I'm sitting here in my studio and I thought, you know, now would be a good time maybe to just kind of chat with you about uh, 2020 and where we want to see our businesses grow uh, and how we can expand our businesses and reach new people in the new year. Uh, I've had a lot of people, um, I mean not a lot, but I've had a handful, between 10 and 15 of you have reached out to me on my various platforms and you're asking a lot of questions about how to monetize your artwork, uh, different ways you can go about reaching new people. And I mean, we all want to see our businesses grow year after year. And there are ways that you can do that if you're feeling that your business is a little bit stagnant or if you're just starting out and you have no idea where to go. Um, I've been a working artist for seven and a half years now and up until just this past year all I offered was art prints and I sold my original artworks and that was really it. Um, and it was this year that I decided that I wanted to expand my business. I wanted to start reaching people who otherwise I may not ever have had the opportunity to put my artwork in front of. Um, not everybody is, I mean, there are a lot of people who may love what you do, but may not be in the market for art prints or for original artwork. Maybe they don't have any more wall space, or maybe they like um, crows, for example, like my crow back here, but they really want functional art. And they want to be able to see their favorite animals. In my case, since I paint animals, they want to see, you know, their favorite subject matter on things that they can use. So I knew that it was time to expand my business and to start offering things, uh, my artwork on, on different items um, other than just art prints. So what I did was I started doing some research. Last year, I started researching companies that do print-on-demand services, drop shipping services. I just Googled those two things, and a bunch of companies came up that do this type of thing online. Uh, and then I narrowed it down to a couple that I really liked because, A, they, decided, they, they offer the things that I wanted to offer. Uh, they offered to make me the things that I wanted to offer in my Etsy shop. Uh, and they did, did the work for me. I didn't want to have to handle any of these things myself because I don't, I, I really don't have the time to take on uh, shipping any other goods other than the, the prints and my originals that I do for my studio. I just don't have the time to offer um, anything else, nor do I want to have to handle uh, any other merchandise. Um, I don't have any room in my studio for any additional shipping supplies or any bulk inventory. I just didn't want to have to deal with any of that. So um, the company that I decided to go with needed to be able to meet certain requirements for me. And the company that I decided to go with uh, was Printful. And um, one of the reasons why I decided to choose Printful, um, the, actually the first thing that I really found appealing about Printful was that not only do they do all those things, but they offered me samples. I could purchase samples of some of the items that they offer and they would give them to me for 20% off plus free shipping so that I could try these items out I could see what they looked like, um, and I could feel comfortable offering these items to my customers, um, knowing that I, you know, this is basically my brand. So I have to be satisfied with what it is going to look like, and if it's going to hold up, I need to be able to feel comfortable offering these items to my customers. So Printful, they sort of ticked all those boxes for me, and. Um, 
I decided that I wanted to sell phone cases. So I had phone cases, um, a couple of different phone cases made up with my artwork on it. And I carried this thing around with me for two months and I used it and I was hard on it. And, uh, and it really exceeded my expectation. Um, so I did that with this. I did the did it with with the tote bags that I decided to start offering in my shop. Everything that I wanted to offer, I got samples of, and I really wanted to test them out and make sure that that I felt comfortable uh, selling those. <clears throat> so Printful, they they had everything that I really liked. They offered me everything that I wanted in a drop shipping service. So. Um, so that is one way for you to expand your business is perhaps to start offering uh, items that you normally wouldn't offer. If you're creating artwork, find ways to monetize your art by uh, making your artwork available in ways that you normally wouldn't think of. Um, so offering your artwork on functional art like I did tote bags, mugs, pillows, uh, Printful also, uh, they, they offer, gosh, they offer just about everything you can imagine from aprons to blankets to gym bags to clothing. Um, they kind of, they do it all. So that's one way. If it fits with your brand to be able to offer things like that, that's one way you can do it. Um, cards, note cards, offering that. Again, when you offer these, anything that you offer, I recommend that you do research on, that you get samples of to make sure that it is going to look the way you want it to look. Um, and then just find out what you need to do to be able to offer these things. Um, Printful, they integrate well, really well with Etsy. So um, that was another reason why I decided to use them. Um, uh, they personally don't offer note cards, but another company that I work with, uh, finerworks.com, uh, they offer note cards. They also offer canvas prints. Printful offers canvas prints. Um, they offer posters. Um, you know, just start brainstorming and, and seeing, okay, well, what, what could I offer? Where is that demand? There's no better place to look for what is trending than really on Etsy. Whether you sell on Etsy or not, they are a great resource to find out what people are interested in. Um, I am gonna be expanding hopefully in 2020. I'm gonna start offering stickers with my artwork on them. I never would have thought of offering stickers before. Stickers are really hot right now um, and stickers are constantly trending on Etsy. They used to be something that teachers, I always thought, used for, you know, for their students, you know, like grade school um, or kindergarten, because kids really love stickers. And even though that's still the case, adults now are purchasing stickers and putting them on their water bottles and putting them on their laptops um, just as a means of expressing themselves and showing other people what they have an interest in. And, uh, and so that those types of things are selling right now. So, you know, I, I was really utilizing everything that Etsy had to offer to show me what it was that people were interested in. And then I just have to decide whether or not it fits with my brand. And if it is, if it does fit with my brand, then I thought I am gonna start offering these things. And it, it can't hurt my business if I'm not having to invest any money to do it. So, I mean, well, I mean, other than samples, but not everybody, if you feel comfortable selling things and not getting samples first, then, then really you don't have uh, really any investment in it. Although I do recommend that you get samples <laughs> that I, I just, it's always been a big fear of mine not to know, you know, what is going out with if I can't see it, if I can't touch it first. But uh, anytime you can get samples so that you know what it's going to look like when the company ships them out, that that will ease your mind 
in the future. Um, so calendars are another good way to expand your business, um, especially at the end of the year. Planners uh, are really big on Etsy. Um, oh my gosh, there, there's just so many things that you can that you can do other than selling prints and originals of your work. It's just about brainstorming and trying to figure out where your art fits in and and uh, then finding find just tapping into that market because you know you you will be fulfilling a need. You just have to put your artwork in front of the right people and uh, and and then they will they will hopefully respond. I I've had a great year. Um, expanding my business by selling these things and it it's really it's been very good for my business and it's been good publicity because it draws people into my shop now that that I never would have never would have seen before because people are looking for something completely different than art prints and originals but they still get my artwork it's just that they're getting them on different things so anyway i hope that this video was helpful i hope it kind of gets these you know creative juices flowing and maybe you can start thinking about ways to expand your own business in 2020. Um, the computer is such a great resource i just encourage you to just google and and you know whatever it is that you want do research on it get a few samples made and uh and and sell them in on Etsy or your website um, and hopefully it will bring you a prosperous 2020. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Uh, thanks for being with me through another year and I look forward to providing you more content in 2020 and, uh, and I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.